where does this go? It depends on how far we go towards socialism. Of course, look at Venezuela. They're eating the zoo animals. My God, I hope it doesn't come to that. But we need a voice for individualism in this country, Neil. That means... Ca Okay, they keep using Venezuela, but why don't they talk about Germany or China? Germany and China are very socialist. Why is, I mean, you're, <laughs> if you're going to use comparisons, if we're going to compare the U.S., you should compare it to its competition, who's socialist, which is most of Western Europe and China. They're socialist. But anyways, Venezuela keeps coming up, which doesn't make sense to me because they're not even a competitive economy. So let's talk about the people that are in our class. You know, if you're going <laughs> to compare a college football team, you're not going to compare it to high school or, you know, an NFL team would not, you know, a pro team is not going to be compared. So let's talk about the other socialist countries that actually have competition, which would be China and Germany. Capitalism, and that means trading, that means self-interest, that means voluntary trade. That's what we really need if we want to get this country and this economy really on sustainable footing. You know, it's interesting as we look at this longest bull market, uh, and it was born at, at the time in the midst of a meltdown and all the government takeovers and all the rescues, the banks. all the stimulus, all the Federal Reserve actions. Um, all Does that worry policies. you that with each crisis, uh, you might argue, okay, well, good came of that, interest rates stayed low, companies and individuals got their act together, but it was the government fixing things. Yeah, I mean, you know, yep. uh, before we were celebrating a, the bull market, we were all, I think, very rightly cautious about all of that element of stimulus. I mean, there was a tremendous amount of bubble talk, uh, even from the president before the You're election. Right. You're absolutely I don't right. I don't necessarily think we're in a bubble, Neil, but the reason that the bull market is intact, the reason that Americans have made money isn't because of who's in the Oval Office. Neil, it's because of Amazon, Tesla, uh, Facebook. It's because of the companies, the individuals, the minds that have created this technology. So what worries me about socialism is that that's what gets in the way, Neil. That's, the, that's what says you want to you know, buy that car from Germany or import something from China. They just mentioned Germany and China, which are socialists. Like I said, I mean... Uh, I can only cover so much of Fox because, I mean, like I said, they're making good arguments and I'm not against it. Like, there is obviously a lot of crappy socialist programs in socialist countries. But, I mean, look, man, you just brought up the two big boys, China and Germany. They're socialist countries. You just talked about how our economy recovered since 2008 because we basically did the most socialist thing ever. We basically said, oh, these, government, these banks are too big to fail, so we're going to just give you guys free money from the government. And, oh, by the way, we're, you know, us, the taxpayers that are bailing you out, we're not going to, like, take a profit or anything like that. No, no, no. We're we're actually going to let you kick them out of the houses and, you know, you guys then own the house and we become renters. But no, man, I mean, it, what happened in 2008, 9 and 10 was very socialist. I feel like they should have let the banks fail. They should have let uh, smaller banks compete instead of allowing basically now a monopoly. We have four banks that really just control the United States and they might as well be government banks. And guess what? Citibank, uh, Golden, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Bank of America. Uh, Wells Fargo and Chase, they now, because they're such big banks and have so much money, they have a lot of influence under our, our government. They're able to give money to politicians. And we saw this with Obama. O Obama was getting money from Citibank and then basically put everyone <laughs> working for Citibank to go uh, become his economic counsel. And we saw this with Trump. Trump railed on Goldman Sachs uh, lobbyists buying out Hillary and Ted Cruz. And what do you know? He puts in a bunch of Goldman Sachs people, but I don't know. This might be a lost cause. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. And uh, like I said, I, I, I like Fox News when they cover some stuff, but sometimes they just fail to mention some points. And no matter what, I still like this more than CNBC. So go Fox News. <laughs>